I finally found the right spot for lighting. This is fine. I don't have much footage for this vlog and I just want to produce these videos every week and I don't have enough footage. So I'm honestly <laughs> filming everything around me and just randomly picking the topics. I thought that maybe I would just start filming little vlogs. Hi, vlog. <laughs> and um, kind of incorporating what I live through daily and also kind of connecting that to wine, if that makes sense. I just feel like I, at this point, I need to keep on making content, <laughs> but it's just so overwhelmingly difficult to manage my time with what I'm doing right now and doing YouTube at the same time. So it's a bit, it might be a bit chaotic, which is absolutely fine from... I need to put this glass because I feel like it's going to wow, splash. Yeah, you know, to be completely honest with you, I mean, 45 followers, where am I heading? But I am consistent. I want to be consistent about it and I want to literally film everything to the point where I find something I want to concentrate on. And I know that wine is going to be a very big and important part of it. So for now, we're, we're stuck with uh, wine vlogging. I vlog. <laughs> it's been hard in America. It's been tough feeling sad. It's been hard. I just did a great, a wonderful um, tasting about uh, Chablis and I thought that, Burgundy in general, but Chablis and I thought that I would talk to you about, a little bit more about that wine region. There's so much confusion about Chablis, like people think it's a great variety, it's pronounced strangely, Cablis, Chablis, Chablis. So it's just all kind of this mysterious wine region that produces spectacular wines. So Chablis is not a grape variety. It is the name of a subregion, which is situated in the northern part of Burgundy. Chablis is always Chardonnay grape variety. If you want some descriptors that would resonate with Chablis wines, um, I would go with mineral, crisp, Citrus fruity, refreshing, precise, and one more. Precise, black out. One more. Bitey. Chablis wines are a cool climate wines. That means that most of the time they would have lots of acidity. There are two factors that made that subregion of Burgundy very unique. First factor is the climate. Chablis is really close to Champagne. So we're in France, but we're also in that northern part of France. And that means that you have your regular continental climate with quite strong temperature fluctuations. Why is it good for growing grapes? Well, because on one hand, these grapes can ripen during the periods of where you get lots of sun, so during the summer periods. But on the other hand, they will not ripen too much where they lose all of their character. They will ripen, but they will also sustain their acidity. 
And acidity in wine is a really, really good thing. I love my acidity in the wine because it makes it so joyful in the mouth, vivacious. The second is the soils. The soils of Chablis are extremely unique. Like I think that this is one of the most unique places in the world to produce wines. First of all, they're really old. They date back to 200, 150, 200 million years ago. I mean, we're talking dinosaurs and fucking on Earth. These soils are rich in minerals, microorganisms. They really nurture the vine. And in the end, it would just give you this, first of all, the longevity of the wine would be, first of all, the quality, first of all, the quality of the grapes would be very, very high. So first of all, the quality of the grapes would be really, really high. Um, the healthier the grapes, the, the better the quality of the wine as well. And, uh, and that usually means that you can age these wines for a really, really long time. But also when you drink them, they will give you this lovely complexity. It's like the layers and layers and layers of different flavors. So first comes the layers of fruits. You have this bursting with citrus fruits, green apple, a pear, all those fresh. Then you move on to the level of minerality. And that essentially is damp stones, sea breeze, a little bit of kind of tonic quality, if you like your gin tonic, kind of cucumber -y touch almost. Saltiness also. All of that, depending on how you want to associate your word mineral with, all of that is basically minerality. I don't think there's a common descriptor that everybody agrees with when it comes to describing minerality. It's all here. Wow, <clears throat> a little minty. This is this really refreshing, almost herbal quality. A little bit of dried herbs, dried hay, this lemongrass. You have this combination of grassy um, and kind of dried fruitiness, a little bit of grapefruit skins, but more like a grapefruit peel. You, know, you kind of squeeze it out and then it comes in a light, bitter touch, but when complemented by the salty feeling on the sides of your tongue, it actually means, it actually gives you a very, very interesting, very refreshing finish. So check it out. It says, usually on the bottle of Burgundy Chablis wines, you're going to see the year where it was, where the grapes were picked. You are going to see the region where the wine came from. In this case, this is Chablis. It is up to you to know that Chablis is Burgundy because most of the time you're going to see it on the bottle because but here I can't really find it so it's up to you to know that and yeah Chablis is always Burgundy, Northern Burgundy. Then that subregion has a parcel and that parcel is called Fourchomme and that parcel has a very high level of classification so it is classified as Premier Cru. So that's basically all we see on the bottle. And of course, yes, the name of the producer, which is Isabelle and Denis Pommier. So you're always going to see the year. You're always going to see the name of the producer. You're going to see the name of the region. And then if it is a, if the wine comes from one specific parcel, you're going to see the name of that parcel and the classification of that parcel. I hope that was, I hope that was sufficiently explained. <laughs> As for the grape variety, most of the time you're not going to see it. On the back label, there's a little kind of note from the winemaker and you're going to see that um, Isabelle and Denis Pommier, they wrote us a little message and they actually, it's all in French, but they do mention that this wine is made from uh, Chardonnay grape variety. So lucky for you if you read back labels, but most of the time you're not going to see it on on the burgundy labels you're not going to see the gray variety because people expect you to know that they expect you to know your stuff they expect you to know your wine before the lighting goes completely black on me i have to add how much i respect this couple isabelle and denis pommier they are just it's so rare to get this humbleness from the winemaker do you know what i mean especially in such a in such a renowned wine region as burgundy so 
So little cheers for you, little cheers. Thanks again for watching. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, I'll try to keep up the pace with one video per week. Good. Oh, vielen Dank.